Oh, that's right, it's me. Okay, so, we're <laughs> here. There's me, Gareth, Steven, Stefan, David, uh, Miwa, Gold, and our patron Manny, and he's going to tell us all about Sega Sonic Brothers. The floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> this, so as we saw on the title screen, it looked like the Green Hill Zone from the Game Gear version of Sonic 1. And this... It's Poyo Poyo. What? I was about to say, yeah, it looks like Poyo Poyo, but it's a little different. Because now we, ha we only have three colors instead of, like, five. And we have a and death cloud. Worse. That sounds fair. All right, good job. So, this is Sega this Sonic Brothers. <laughs> uh, this is my footage. I shot this at California Extreme a few weeks ago as of this recording. It's an unreleased Sonic puzzle game from Japan. It had a, a little test release, and it was never released further from that. It's a little bit <laughs> weird. Um, the way you eliminate the blocks is you have to sort of encapsulate a bunch of blocks with one color. So you see you have a red Sonic, a yellow Sonic, and a blue Sonic. For example, you would have to get an outline like a circle of blue Sonics, and that would disappear, all the blocks inside of it would disappear. Rinse and repeat. Oh. Once you get to level 30, you'll see it for a split second towards the end. Uh, they throw in a white Sonic as well. That's racist. <laughs> so we have Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Silver ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. Well, so we, I, I would, you know, because this would have been released roughly around the same time as Sega Sonic Arcade, I think we can kind of... She oh, as clear, yeah. clear standings for Mighty and Ray. Yeah. Mighty and I mean, Ray, yeah. 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 But I mean, do, I mean, uh, let's weird though. Just, just think, had this game come out and had it had say it, it stayed Super Sonic Bros. Do you think say the arcade game would have just had Sonic's two brothers, who are red and and gold? <laughs> but then also would that would that have changed? Oh, fuck that Christ. crying Sonic animation is is hysterical. <laughs> but then, <laughs> we, then we would have. We would have literally Red Sonic and Yellow Sonic as canon characters. <laughs> and then, so and then, then we would so have... Then I guess... They would so come back for uh, Mania. For Mania? As the new yeah. characters. Yeah. But then, then, I, I guess, I guess if this had, had been canon, what color would Super Sonic have been? Mm. Um, a slightly brighter shade of yellow. <laughs> I would say... <laughs> or he might have just been... Or he might have not changed colors. He might have just been What's... like the fake Super Sonic with spiky quills. Oh. I would say it would be orange, just because it's a contrast color to blue. I mean, Super but Sonic yeah, is Ted. orange. Tails Super is orange. Super Sonic could have looked different. He didn't have to be a Dragon Ball ripoff. That's just how you see <laughs> Naka did it, because he's lazy. Maybe this is Super Sonic, true. and he went back in time and met himself. <laughs> oh, like in <laughs> Dragon Ball <laughs> Super? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't and... believe Sonic Dimensions is real. <laughs> ah, uh, can I just say it's really that, uh, unintuitive. I just gotta say, if, if we did just get Red Sonic and Yellow Sonic, and they became the Mighty Ray, would that mean Ted would complain less in Sonic Mania? No, no. he would still complain. <laughs> uh, there are three constants I... in the universe: expansion, stupidity, and Ted always complaining. <laughs> did you guys not watch yeah, the damn. Encore Mode LP? I Jesus said so many Christ. nice things about you guys during that, by the way. <laughs> uh, it, I appreciate that. Sky, Sky, I'll be, I'll be honest. I couldn't, I, I couldn't make it through the whole of the LP. That's fair. As oh, soon did, as you did, heard, did you, did you get to Howard Drossen zone? Howard Drossen. No, 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 it's, it's, it's just because in terms of that, you know, I've, I've already done an LP of, of that game with them. I know, I know what their views on Mania are, but like you barely said anything. So I was like, I'm gonna fucking what's this if my boy Sky ain't speaking? So towards the end, I, I got. Remember that episode it. where Sky said one thing the entire commentary part? <laughs> Oh. And I added that part in post towards the end. <laughs> A little behind the scenes yeah. secrets there. This no, game, no, like, no, the, for... be the best is still in uh, so Sonic Speedway when you just added Gareth and Steven's audio in post. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We say we we say hello and then nothing for the rest of. Uh... <laughs> it's like it's like Sky. Oh. That, you doing that reminded me of um of of. The HFCOP of of Sonic Advance. When it's clear in post, you and Tom recorded new audio, so there's like giant chunks where me and Steven just aren't saying anything. Was it? <laughs> with, like, I think it's is it, isn't there isn't there a bit where I, you guys just start naming off ice levels in the Sonic franchise? Yeah, <laughs> ice cap. I, I don't Alaska. remember, but it sounds familiar. Alaska. See, I remember in the Generations LP where we were arguing oh, we about the have Hedgehog one engine. 
And then afterwards, we were like, oh, hey, it's just lighting. And then and then Tom went back and re-recorded, hey, guys, it's just lighting. Something like that. <laughs> See, that... that I, oh, I it's White Sonic! Him, I... yeah. Oh! Yeah. Ooh. It's silver! Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> so, this... me, me, Miwa, which, which of the three brothers is your favorite? What? What? Which... <laughs> Chaos Emeralds. Which, oh. which, which of the three Se Se uh, Sega Sonic Brothers? Well, now there's is your four. Favorite? Well, the four. Yeah. Blue Sonic. Uh, Red. I don't know. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. fair. Like, yellow. Yellow That's... Sonic isn't a racist like Tails. Oh, hey, it's uh -oh. over. Wow. Oh no. Oh. So, <laughs> you know, just quick, so, Sky, just, just because we didn't really talk about it, how does it play? Was um, it fun? It, it was fun, but I can see Question why... Mark. <laughs> well, like, it was fun, but <laughs> it like... had a few flaws that I can see why they might have pulled it. Like, yeah, the it whole concept. Like, uh, anyway. The whole concept it me of, of like, trying uh, to circle it. Poyo, is... of like, yeah, Poyo Poyo, but just like... It's, instead of you have to just... You have less colors to work with, and you have to build upon, like... You have to with that circle thing, and I think the main pain problem with it, like what it looks like, is just that the Sonic, like with the four Sonics, that makes it a little bit harder, I think, instead of just two. Mm. Wow, great and you have input, to kind of create a circle. Just from looking at the game, the concept of you have to get a certain amount of specific color and then entrap that and circle that within other colors, that looks really unintuitive. Like, why can't? Why can't it just match colors like every other it puzzle game? It's it's because I'm you're kind of you're kind of at the hard. mercy of the random numbers at really, the random number generator. It really tedious for no it really good reason. Does. And then we and then when they add the fourth color later on, that just like adds a lot. Oh, that just makes it harder because like okay, I think I can work with three, but now there's this fourth one, which we already technically had like a fourth thing was the poison cloud. So now we have like five things to worry about. And if I just let and if I just, like, kind of messed up the one... If I just slightly move the wrong Sonic into the wrong place, it's going to screw the whole combo up. And you got to work with that. Oh, the left and right controls were very loose, by the way, from when I played. How did you play this? How were you able to do that? Um, s somebody brought the actual arcade cabinet to the event. It's It was a giant arcade pinball table expo. Um, pay 30 bucks for the weekend. You get to play anything it's all free it's all free play oh yeah i, I, I think it was 30 bucks for the weekend did it have a pretty good sure. did it have a pretty standard control pad is there an image of what that looks like um it was your basic joystick and i think it was six buttons even though you really only used one and you could only six. rotate the sonic blocks uh clockwise you couldn't rotate them back counterclockwise oh that then that just which, makes it harder mm, honestly yeah it was a you, like if you make a mistake you have to do it. You have to push the button three more, t like three or four more times. Yeah, I found myself doing that a lot when I would <clears> overpress, <throat> and I'd be like, "Oh no, three more times!" Oh, I didn't get it. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. Well, because it, it it wasn't like in its own cabinet, right? It, it was in a. Isn't it just in an Astro? Wasn't it uh, one of those generic uh, Sega Astro cabinets where you can put anything in it? Yeah. It wasn't yeah, yeah. a. Yeah. It didn't so have why. any sort of branding or art. Right, so that's why there's all those buttons on the cabinet. It wasn't because it, right. it wasn't designed for that raw or that game. They could have just Ooh, done the Sonic the Adventure way and just put every, and then just put the turn button on every uh, all the buttons there. Mm. So the Sonic Adventure way. So if he doesn't show up until level thirty, is White Sonic the black sheep of the family? This <laughs> 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 <gasps> Guys, um, I have to come clean. I lied about my favorite brother. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do this to us? Who oh. is it, Miwa? Who's your favorite? It's the red one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You Good. communist. It looks like from like just like the title screen. It looks like the the blue, blue Sonic looks normal. Red Sonic looks like the highly energetic one. It looks like the yellow one is the edgy one. Ooh. Meaning, Ooh. could that be the original design of Shadow? He was originally supposed to be well, yellow. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Trying too hard, man. Th that, that's just a I theory. <laughs> oh, no. 
I like I like Goldstorm saying you're trying too hard to make a joke when your jokes are the worst of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> out of it, Goldstorm, it's only out of complete hatred I say that. <laughs> I know, and I pr I appreciate oh. that. <laughs> yeah, and you're at the bottom of this barrel, so consider that. Oh damn! Ooh. <laughs> I like Hard barrels. Hitting. Especially in Carnival Night Zone. Is that in Sega yeah, Sonic I mean, Bros? No. I may be at the bottom of the barrel, but I'm Spring the one Spring Yard lower. Zone is in Sega Sonic Brothers. I oh, don't it? remember oh. if I got footage of it. Yeah, oh. so let me talk about the game uh, six minutes after we finished watching the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, Please. yeah. Please. There were four stage backgrounds based on Sonic 1. You had Green Hill, you had Marble Zone. Well, the lava from I'm Marble Zone. going to get something to drink. While Steven gets something <laughs> to drink. <laughs> Uh, there is Spring Yard Zone and the special stage background as well. I don't. Ooh, I think it was wow. all just random. I don't think there's any like cohesive level order. And you might have oh. saw the Chaos Emerald at this point while you're listening to the commentary. Just open this video back up in a new tab and mute that one. And then I'll be oh. talking about the game, and it'll make sense. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you score enough points or something, I believe you get a Chaos Emerald. That comes down. That wipes out everything on the plane that it's at. And everything above as well, so that's your power up item for the game. So, uh, Sky, I'm not I'm not sure if you could hear it because you are at a convention and all, but like uh, any music, like is it just tracks taken from Sonic One? Is it was it original stuff? Was there anything at all? Nothing from Sonic. The only the only thing resembling it was the fact that the splash screen is the same as Sonic One, just the Sega. I thought you were gonna say like okay. the only thing that it remotely sounds like Sonic like. Anything from Sonic is Splash Hill. Oh god, oh no. <laughs> That's where it came from. That'd be a so really, really deep cut, wouldn't it? Um, no. But no, as far as the music goes, um, I could hear it a little bit. It wasn't, obviously I was in a large convention hall, so it wasn't entirely audible, but it sounded nothing like Sonic. It was like, da -na 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 -na. Um, a guy who was there, he joked that the closest thing was the da na 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 because it actually kind of sounds like the start of Green Hill Zone. <laughs> but apart from that, hmm. no, nothing nothing remotely Sonic-ish. Did anyone play the one-player mode? Um, The only one-player mode that there was was just, like, the score attack, but a second player could still come and do that. Oh. So the, there wasn't, like, any cool uh, story, like in Puyo, where... No. Oh man. I or a cool it. story like in Kirby's Avalanche where Kirby just throws <laughs> everyone. <laughs> but Kirby yeah, Kirby just throws shade at everyone. <laughs> I love that game. For, for American no Kirby reason. American Kirby truly is hardcore. <laughs> He's just a fucking dick to everyone in that game, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the Kirby Dreamland 2 commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you can read all about this on my write up of the game on SonicRetro.org. Like, oh, no! Wait wait, 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 wait! Sonic Retro actually posted something to, to the front page again. I know, right? Right. <laughs> Everyone thought we burnt mm. it to the ground after I wrote my fifty thousand word review. But Moby is twenty five years later. But Sky <laughs> 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 Sanctuary is supposed to be yellow. Uh, Stefan, <laughs> cut that joke that Gareth just said because that's a spoiler for Rayman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I gotta watch that afterwards. We can't have spoilers. <laughs> I mean, like they ha you haven't spoiled jokes before. I'm just saying, cut it. <laughs> uh, I feel like every time I tell it, oh. guys, Stefan is gonna make a great Yuji Naka joke in the Sonic Extreme LP. Just wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Cut everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's the title, and we're done. <laughs>